morning, TKA. I'm Sienna Corpus. Today is Tuesday, September 29th, 2015. That's right, Sienna. And right now we are on a regular Tuesday schedule. Today on the Nightly News, we will give you an updated weather forecast, headlines from around the world, and campus news. We'll be sharing a special video featuring the updated computers recently installed in our library. Yes, our field reporter, Aisha Maheshwari, took a trip over to the library to see what the librarians and students had to say about the new computers. Take a look. Good morning, TKA. If you haven't heard, we have new computers for the library lab, and they're a lot faster than the old ones. Let's go take a look. The new computers were recently installed thanks to the IT department pulling a late shift to get them set up for the next school day. Mr. Abadir now tells us what caused this new development. We've had a lot of you know, complaints about the slowness of the ones that existed before, and it had to happen. Students and teachers were having a lot of problems with it, thanks to Mr. Middles. The new Dell computers run the same interface as previous ones, but as you can see, there is a big difference in the speed of the computers, and no lagging when applications are opened and closed. Let's see what students think. They're great. They're easy, and they have great Wi-Fi. <laughs> we are so thankful for the new computers. They're such a blessing. Um, the students using them are so thrilled with the speed, um, the efficiency of them, and we're just very thankful. Uh, they're a lot faster than the old computers, and that's really nice because I can come in here at lunch and brunch, and if I need to print something off, we'll actually print, and it won't take the whole time. Be sure to thank Mr. Meadows and the IT department for the new computers that we have in the library. Well, I'm Aisha Maheshwar, reporting for the Nightly News. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Aisha. Now let's head over to our weather studio to find out what weather we can expect for the rest of the week. Take it away, Mason. Good morning, TKA. So it looks like the weather is cooling down just a bit. This week we'll be experiencing temperatures in the mid-70s for the whole week, with an especially warmer day on Friday. And interestingly enough, there's a 40% chance of rain on Sunday. So you may want to be aware of that. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks, Mason. Exciting news. Are you interested in winning a GoPro Hero? Simply take the TKA flyer out of the SAO and eat out for Los Angeles on Wednesday, October 7th at any of the following restaurants at El Camino Real, at Sunnyvale, Saratoga Road in Sunnyvale, Five Guys, Pinkberry, The Habit, Pasta Pomodera, Pizza My Heart, and Rubio's. Multiple chances equals more chances to win a GoPro. Look at the bulletin board for details on how to enter your receipts. Funds raised will help the Los Angeles service trip team. Now let's go to Julian Shaw to see what news is making headlines beyond TKA. Take it away, Julian. Good morning, TKA. During the past few days, the United Nations General Assembly had gathered to discuss sustainable development and is now having a general debate. But that's boring news. Here I'm going to tell you all about the weird and wacky news making headlines around the world. So I'm sure that you've heard about the supermoon eclipse, right? The occurrence of an eclipse in conjunction with a supermoon is rare. The last time this happened was in 1982, and the next one is supposed to occur in 2033. In other news, I'm sure you guys weren't silly enough to wait in line to get the new iPhone that's come out. That's what pre-ordering is for. But anyway, a genius in Sydney apparently built a robot to be in line for her and controlled it from the comfort of her home, own home. Anyway, that's all I have. Back to you, Kiwi and Sienna. Thanks, Julian. That was interesting. If you haven't heard, the Night Cafe now has a salad bar. You should definitely go grab some salad. Make sure you bring your ID card with you if you want to be charging the purchase to your account. Cost is 38 cents per ounce. Before we go, let's find out which home group will be playing the Family Feud this week. Go ahead and pull up a random generator. And it's... Congratulations! We'll see you here Thursday. Thank you for watching, and that completes this episode of the Nightly News. I'm Jonathan Goldberg. And I'm Sienna Corpus. Have a great day.